Yo, what's up guys, my name is Hirochao and in this video I will be covering 250 Hellware kills in God Wars Dungeon 2. It is important to note that all kills were done with a 50% drop increase. As usual, I want to go over the fight before getting to the drops. If you're only interested in them, then you can skip it by clicking on the annotation on the screen right now. So, Hellware. This boss is really really easy if you get the hang of it. The boss has 4 special attacks that will cycle. And the first one I want to go over is the bleed attack. After 3 regular attacks, Hellware will say you will bleed. And a powerful attack will follow hitting you for about 1k on a prayer and 3k without. This attack can actually be negated in 2 different ways. You can choose to simply sidestep him, not getting any damage at all. Or you can resonance the hit only suffering the bleed. If you chose to resonance the hit you will get a bleed which hits 50 damage each tick and is easily tanked. After 3 base attacks, which he does between every single special, the next special attack will follow. In this case he will jump next to you wherever you are and he will start increasing the bleed. It's actually stacking on top of the other bleed, so if you've chosen to sidestep him you will also get this bleed. Whenever he starts using this attack you can choose to use Devotion, negating all the normal damage he does. You can also choose to use Debilitate, which will half the damage he does, or you can simply tank the damage. The attack does about 1 to 4k damage and this is with prayer on, leaving you also with a 250 bleed each tick. This bleed can easily be removed by using freedom. If you are comfortable enough with this boss, this is the time to incorporate a berserk. And I know so far this all sounds very overwhelming, but once you get the hang of it, it is really really easy. And for the third special attack, Hellware will be calling for two wolves to help him. These wolves can easily be ignored and they will just be killed by AoE. This phase is the reason why people say it's a good idea to bring a Dragon Rider Lance or Noxious Scythe to battle Hellware with. These weapons have the Hellbird effect which will give you a larger range in which your multi damage will hit. Now for his fourth and final special attack, which is actually also his first attack, he will be growing some mushrooms. At this point he will say nature lend me your aid and three mushrooms will spawn with a gas cloud underneath them. This cloud gives a constant damage around 200 each tick and will stun you in place if you're in it too long. In any case there's not much to worry about, but they can have some tragic spawns, meaning that all the clouds will hit you at once, but that's not really a big deal as well. Just move out of the cloud, or surge out if you're really in too deep. And that is about it for this boss. Hellware has a lot of health, and when I say it I mean a lot of health. This makes the battle really really long and boring in my opinion. Every battle took me about 3 or 4 cycles of these special attacks. And it really started feeling like I was controlling some sort of factory machine, which in turn made me mess up again. But this is of course my personal opinion. After quite a long battle, the precious loot will fall to the floor. And this is of course why you have clicked this video, so let's get down to it. This nicely filled tab is filled with the drops from Hellware itself. As you can see I've unfortunately not gotten a crest or a one drop. But I did manage to get some essence. Anyways let's jump right into the price check. And supposedly it all adds up to 40.7 million GP. And that is really about the average I've seen from all these bosses in God Wars Dungeons 2. Counting the essence as a special drop, this leaves me with 38.4 million GP. However, these essences will sell for about 650k on the Grand Exchange, which really isn't that much. So that's why I will just count them as normal loot, because it's not really a big deal. But before we can say anything about the drops, we will have to quick sell them all. Or at least sell them slowly with a time lapse. Of course I was looking for the insta cells and if you do that you will almost always lose a little bit. So at the end we had a grand total of 40.4 million which is really reasonable for God Wars Dungeon 2 boss. And this in turn means that in the 11 hours I took to kill this boss 250 times because this boss is so damn slow to kill I have ended up with 14.4 million which will lead to a 3.66 million GP per hour. This is really not that bad, but as I said before, for me personally it's the most boring boss to kill in God Wars Dungeon 2. As usual, I will still have to turn in the Saren Seals. And they have given me a total of 1950 reputation with the Zamorak faction. Actually giving me the faction's toy, a lava ball. Anyways, that is about all for the Hellware boss. I hope you guys are, or will be, enjoying killing him. And I will just move on to the next task. I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!